Hello, this is Chris over at Virillo Trading and in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to fund an interactive broker's trading account using WISE. I've already made a video about this in the past. However, this one is gonna be much more concise and much more complete. And it's gonna be the number one reference for how to fund your interactive broker's account with WISE and why I choose to use WISE as a freelancer. WISE, formerly known as TransferWISE, is an online currency exchange service that is useful, I think, to gain more control over your currency um, as an online business. So if you're a freelancer and you do business online in multiple countries and you hold balances in multiple different currencies, WISE is an example of a provider that can give you more flexibility in managing your cash, managing your currencies. And I use WISE personally in my business. That's why I'm here talking about it because it's a service that I use quite frequently to get paid in foreign currencies, to pay employees in various currencies and to fund my trading accounts. I'm going to show you in this video how to set up interactive brokers as a recipient on WISE and how to pay into your interactive brokers account, how to fund it. I'm also going to show you how to withdraw out of your interactive brokers account into your WISE account in a foreign currency. Now I'm in Canada and this method is going to apply to you if you are living or doing business outside of the United States of America, but you do business in the US dollar. And you know, this is pretty typical nowadays. A lot of people do business online. I think it's important to learn about new ways to uh, manage your currency and uh, you know, hold balances in US dollars as well as Canadian dollars. Now, one of the main advantages of this method of funding interactive brokers is that number one, you get to keep your funds in US dollars. So let's say you're out of the US and you're doing business in USD, you get paid from one of your clients in US dollars. You you want to fund your trading account directly with those USD funds without having to convert it to any other currency. Because as you guys know, when you convert currency, there's always some sort of fees, you're paying some sort of a spread somewhere down the line. So you want to reduce the amount of conversions you make. And then the other thing is, is that when the funds are in interactive brokers, a pro tip that I use is that I convert my funds there and I take care of most of my currency conversions in my interactive brokers accounts for my personal funds as well as company funds. And the good thing about interactive brokers for exchanging currency, and again, none of this is sponsored by the way. The reason why I like to exchange currency in my interactive brokers accounts is because it's a fixed fee every time no matter how big the amount is let's say you do a leveraged forex trade where you sell half a million worth of one currency no matter how big the amount is of the currency you're selling or buying in interactive brokers from what I've seen it's normally always a fixed fee of around two dollars seventy five cents US dollars per currency transaction so if you do multiple trades like if you do like buy a hundred buy a hundred buy a hundred they're gonna charge you every single time that 275 but if you buy in one shot you'll only pay the fee once and again this is from my personal experience of trading Forex as well as leveraged Forex on interactive brokers and the largest order I've submitted is about 200,000 in one shot so I haven't done half a million, but I'm pretty sure you can even do it on the demo account to check. I'm pretty sure the fee stays the same no matter the amount. I don't know if it'll change if you go past 1 million, maybe it will. All right, so let's go ahead. I'm gonna log into these accounts here and I'm gonna show you how to send funds. Let's get to it right now. So I've opened up the browser and I have my accounts logged in. The first thing you need to do to set up your recipient in WISE, you have to have a WISE account. If you don't have one, go and get one right now using the link down below. Thank you very much. It is an affiliate link, by the way. But because my videos are so helpful to you, you should have no problem clicking on that. So I'm gonna go over to my interactive brokers account. And now you might have a different layout. You might have like a top bar here where it shows transfer and pay. You wanna click on that. But for me, I'm gonna click on the top left here and select transfer and pay. So this is the main menu you need to get to. So transfer and pay. And then I will go over to transfer funds. And then I'm going to go over to make a deposit. Now I'm going to select create a new deposit method. Now what's interesting about this is that you don't have to actually put in any information here. All it does is it asks you what the currency is. So I'll select the currency, which will be US dollars. In this case, it's all the way at the bottom for me. And then I will select bank wire because this is the method we are going to be using here. This method is only possible with bank wire. If you're in the United States, you might be able to use an ACH transfer as well, the automated clearing house. However, if you're outside of the US, this method of ACH is probably not available to you in interactive brokers. So you're going to select bank wire. And just a quick note here, there are not any fees for receiving bank wires into your interactive brokers account. The only fee comes from the bank you're sending 
getting it from. And by the way, Wise is not a bank. They say this explicitly on their website multiple times. However, the fee you pay to transfer using a wire transfer to Interactive Brokers is from Wise. There's no fee on Interactive Brokers side for receiving wire deposits. So I'll click on get instructions. Now you need to give it the name of the institution. So I'll just type in wise and then you can optionally put in your account number at wise and then give it an account nickname if you want. So if it's a business account, I might do wire wise business and you can put in your account number there if you want optionally just to remember which account it is. And at the very bottom, this is the most important part, which is telling Interactive Brokers how much you're going to be depositing. So I'll just put in 2000 in this case, and then I'm gonna click on get wire instructions. Okay, so now this page right here is very important because this is what you need to set up Interactive Brokers as a recipient in WISE. This is the address of Interactive Brokers, Citibank 388 Greenwork Street, New York. That's the address you're gonna put in on WISE when you configure the recipient. I'm gonna show you how to do that now in a second. Depending on your location, you might see an address here which would be more of a local address because Interactive Brokers has offices all over the world. This address here is not the one you need to worry about unless you've been specified otherwise. It says here at the top, wire funds to Citibank NA. This is the address you need to use for the wire transfer, not this one. You're also going to need the routing number over here and you will also need your IB account number, which I've blocked out now. And that's at the very end when you're actually sending the transfer from WISE to Interactive Brokers, you need to put in your IB account number, including the U, so U and then your IB account number into the WISE payment reference. So let's go over to WISE and I'm gonna show you how to set up the recipient. So I'm on WISE. I'm gonna select on the left side where it says recipients. I'm gonna click there. And then I'm gonna click on add recipient. When you're creating the recipient, you should choose business or charity because you're sending money to an institution, which is a stockbroker. So I'll select business, then select the currency, which will be US dollars. You don't have to put in the email. Now, when you're configuring the recipient, you need to make sure you select wire here at the top. If you choose ACH or something else here, and then you go through this entire process and save it, you will not be able to go back and adjust the payment method from ACH back to wire. You won't be able to. So you have to select it from the beginning, select wire. And then it might tell you a message about the recipient being charged an additional fee, but you don't have to worry about that. Next thing is you can go ahead and put in the information. So you'd put in something like interactive brokers and then under the bank wire instructions that interactive brokers provides you, you need to grab the routing number. So I'll grab that and put it into the Fedwire routing number and it picks it up that it's Citibank NA. The next thing is the account number. This is where you're gonna put in this number right here, which is the first portion of this virtual account number they give you. So it's 30508702, you copy that. Put that into the account number. Under account type, select checkings. Recipient address, now for the address, you're gonna put in this address right here, which is the New York address. The country will be United States, the city will be New York. The recipient address will be 388. Greenwick, the state will also be New York because it's in New York, New York, baby. Bam, 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 nah, nah. So once you've put all that in, you're pretty much golden, my friends. You have set up Interactive Brokers as a recipient in your WISE account. You can go ahead and initiate a transfer now from WISE to Interactive Brokers. So the next step is here. This is very important. Listen up, go back to Interactive Brokers. I just selected finish at the bottom of the um, deposit notification page. Now I'm gonna go back to the top right menu on Interactive Brokers. And it, again, if you don't see the top right menu, it's gonna be in the center here. Um, just go under transfer and pay, then find transaction status and history. And here we should be able to see any deposit notifications that we've configured in the account. So you can see here is the deposit notification that we configured for USD $2,000 and it is pending. I'm gonna click on this notification right now because right now we've notified Interactive Brokers that we wanted to deposit 2000, but remember we just used that one as a test just to get the bank details. So now if you wanted to deposit a different amount, you can click on your pending deposit notification, scroll to the absolute bottom of the page, then you can choose to cancel the request or modify it. So let's say you wanted to change the amount. I will select modify and then 
at the very bottom, this is actually something very important, which is the transaction reference number. This is why I would recommend you first to send the payment from wise. And then once you get the transaction reference number from your transfer, that you've made to interactive brokers, you have to then go and configure the deposit notification in interactive brokers and input that transaction reference number into the deposit notification. Now you can do this afterwards, as I'm showing you here, you can go ahead and put it in later, but ideally you want to put it in when you create the deposit notification from the start. Now, the reason why it is recommended to provide the transaction reference number is because in some cases, interactive brokers might require proof that it is actually you initiating that deposit. I've experienced this problem before where interactive brokers as bank rejects your transfer and sends it right back where it came from. When you provide that reference number from wise, it will greatly decrease the probability of that transfer getting rejected. Okay, so let's go back into wise now and show how to send a transfer. The way I like to do it is I like to go over to my recipients tab, go and select the recipient you want to send to, and then select send. Now you should be sending it from your wise balance, because that's how you're going to pay the lowest fee. So I'll select wise balance. And then you select the amount that you want to send them, let's say it's $1,000. And you're always going to pay a fixed fee for my experience here of 39 cents US dollars. So this is very good. I find it very good, a very low and transparent fee. They might change this in the future. By the time you're watching this, it might be more, it might be less. It's unlikely going to be less. Let's be honest. So it doesn't matter how much you want to send. The fee doesn't change. So once you're ready with that and you can figure the amount to send, you can click continue and then you're going to get a confirmation page here. And at the very bottom of this confirmation page, it is very important that you put into the payment reference of WISE your IB account number. And that's gonna be the letter U followed by the number portion of your IB account. You have to put that right there into the WISE payment reference. Now, once you click confirm and send and the transfer goes through, WISE will then give you a transaction reference number. And that is the number I was just referring to that you need to put in when you create your interactive brokers deposit notification. So I'll give you another example of that. So I'll go back over to transfer and pay transfer funds, make a deposit, and I can either create a new deposit method or use one of the ones I've used before. So I'll just select one that I've used before. If you click on a deposit method that you already set up, you just have to put in the deposit amount, how much you're going to be sending and the transaction reference number. So this is where you're going to put in that transaction confirmation reference number that wise just gave you when you sent the transfer. So you put it in right there and then click on get wire instructions and you're done. You set up the deposit notification and I already showed you the method of if you need to cancel it or modify it that covers sending money to interactive brokers from wise. If you guys get value out of this content, let me know with a comment down below and check out Interactive Brokers using the first link down below in the description. And that's an easy way to return the favor if you enjoyed these videos and they help out. Thank you. All right, guys, now it's time to cover the withdrawals. So how do you withdraw from Interactive Brokers into your WISE account? And, you know, there's multiple reasons why you might want to do that. Personally, I use WISE to pay people and to get paid. So press the like if you haven't done that already. Gone back over to the transfer funds page. Again, it's under menu transfer and pay transfer funds. I'll select make a withdrawal. And then here you will have any withdrawal methods that you've already created. I'm going to create a brand new withdrawal method just to show you how this works. So I'll click on use a new withdrawal method. Let's select the currency in this case, USD, because we want to withdraw USD from our IB account into wise. It's important that you use the bank wire method. I've looked into this other method as well, but it didn't seem to work with WISE um, for whatever reason, because of the way WISE is configured and your WISE account is technically in Canada, even though they're in the US, but they're actually from the UK. It's kind of complex. So the simplest way and the best way to go about this is just to use the bank wire method. And what you need to know about sending a wire transfer out of interactive brokers is that they give you one free wire transfer withdrawal per month. After that, if you do another transfer in the same month, the fee is USD $10 at interactive brokers. So I'm going to click on use this method for bank wire withdrawal. And let's continue with this currency US dollars. They ask you where will the funds be deposited here? You have to select bank, even though wise says it explicitly that they are not a bank. 
You have to select bank here in order for this to work. I've tried this already multiple times. I'm saving you the headaches of having to go through with this. That's the point of this video. So you select bank. Under bank country, it should be United States. Bank account number is going to be your WISE account number. I'll show you how to get that. So WISE lets you have balances in multiple different currencies and you have to open your account in those currencies when you get a new WISE account. So I already have the USD account balance opened. So I'm gonna click there. And then at the top, you should see your account number right under the balance. Um, but if you don't see it there, you can also click on receive. And then here you can get your current USD account details. And then on this page, you'll get your USD account details. And what you're going to need is the routing number as well as the account number. So what you do is you grab your account number from there and you paste it into both the fields and then click here to locate the bank. This is where you have to put in the nine digit routing number. So I'll go and get that. I'll paste in the routing number here and I'll click search and then it will fill in the rest of the details here in the receiving bank field. Under the account nickname, you can change this to whatever you want it to be remembered as. I'm gonna write test. Once you're done with all that, you can go ahead and click on save bank information and you're gonna get a confirmation page here. At the very bottom of the page, put in your IB username and password, and then it's going to require you to do a two-factor authentication on your mobile device, so you have to have that set up already. And then that is going to be it for configuring the withdrawal method in IB. So now I'm gonna go ahead and initiate a withdrawal out of Interactive Brokers to the new WISE payment method I've configured. Under menu, go to transfer and pay, transfer funds if you're not already there, then select make a withdrawal, then select the WISE payment method you've configured. And then over here, it'll ask you how much you wanna withdraw. It's gonna give you two balances. One of them is assuming a margin loan, the other one is without the margin loan. So what this is basically telling you is that if you have a margin account with Interactive Brokers, if you have additional securities, additional assets like stocks or cash positions in other currencies other than the currency you're withdrawing from, they will let you withdraw more currency than you actually have. And this is in a margin account. And what this is called is a securities backed margin loan. I'm not sure if that's the correct term. So you go ahead and put in how much you wanna withdraw, click on create withdrawal. And then they will tell you here, if you have exceeded the maximum allowed free withdrawals per month, which is one free withdrawal per month, they'll give you a message here telling you that. If you wanna continue, go ahead and press that. And that's pretty much all there is, guys. I hope this video gave you some valuable information. Check out some of the links down below to support this content, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Check out this playlist if you wanna learn more about how to use the Interactive Brokers platform. As you guys know, this channel is one of the best on YouTube for Interactive Brokers software tutorials. Thank you. See you in the next one.